What's up, card family? Happy Friday. Welcome to the weekend. I'm so glad it's Friday. Um, man, so I got home today and really, um, I hope this is the start of something different, something special. Um, I wasn't ex expecting this when I got home. I didn't know how this would turn out, but, um, yeah, it's, I figured I would try it. And so far, so good. So I got my first TTM returns today. And for those that don't do that sort of thing, it means through the mail when you send cards in the mail to someone and they return them to you with an autograph. Um, I started out with some Cowboys and they're both Hall of Famers. So without further ado, let's get into it. Um, well, there is a little further ado. Um, number one, I want to thank all the TTMers that, that do this on the regular because um, that's where I'm getting these addresses from and the inspiration. And in particular, Dustin Abraham. Um, Dustin's been showing me his TTMs as long as we've been friends. And, you know, he's uh, nudged me a few times like, check this guy out. This is an easy one to get and things like that. And he's kind of showed me the ropes. Um, so I appreciate it, dude. Um this is super cool. Um, I can't wait to get one touches for these. So the first one I'll show, I was on uh, I was on Facebook in a uh, TTM group, and I saw a guy post these, and he posted, you know, he, he, he sent two. I dropped him a line. I said, hey, do you send a donation? He said, nope, just send him the cards and a self-addressed uh, stamped envelope inside. So here it is, Cowboys Hall of Famer. Fullback, three-time Super Bowl champion, Daryl Johnston. And he signed it, Daryl Johnston, Moose, 48. So th this isn't the best one to me because he's got the blue jersey on and the blue kind of goes across there. I don't know if I thought that out too well. But I tried to pick cards that I thought would look good with an auto. And this one... I think turned out really nice. So he sent two. Nice blue ink. Daryl Johnston Moose 48. Cool, right? Um, can't wait to get these one touched. Um, maybe at some point send them off to get them authenticated and slabbed. That'd definitely be something I would do, especially for a Cowboy Hall of Famer. Um, I think he has a beautiful auto, does a really nice job on it. And I'll be honest, I'm I'm not a good TTMer because I didn't track any of this, but man, it, it's less than two weeks uh, it took for me to get these back. I couldn't believe it. When I got home today, I saw the envelope in the, in the mail. I knew it was the one that I sent. At first, I was like, oh man, did this get returned? And when I looked at it, I, I could immediately tell, no, this is uh, the one I stuck in there. Um, so yeah, because I, I, I stick the smaller to six and three quarter on the inside. So super cool. All right. So let's move on to number two and I'll tell you what I'm going to do before I get into number two, I'm going to show the autos of this guy that I, that I already have. And this is another Cowboys hall of famer and I thought it'd be cool to show them so I can talk through how I got them. That sort of thing. So first up, this is the one you just saw the other night. Of course, this is Tony Dorsett, Hall of Famer. And this one I got from Sam I Am. Sambo. See the auto there. Super cool. I gotta figure out what I'm going to do with it, where I'm going to hang it. So I'm going to pause and show you the other two. So this is my Cowboys wall. I got a bunch of autos here. I don't know if I've ever showed all of these, but I'm not going to show them all in this video. I will at some point. But here's my Tony Dorsett 8 by 10 And as you can see, he's in his pit uniform in that one. Super nice auto on there. Proud of that. Got that probably about 10 years ago. All right. Show number three. 
This this one is probably one of my favorites. Um, I just love the way it looks. To me, this looks like it was Monday Night Football. Um, I got this one in a little bit of a nicer frame. There you see again, nice clean auto. And above this one, there's the old Emmett. So yeah, what's that? What are we at? Number three, I got three eight by tens. Let's look at some cards. All right, what was cool is something else that was in the mail today was this. I got my McFarlane Tony door set in the mail and I absolutely love the pose of this figure. Um, love the uniform. Love everything about this thing. And I know it's not cool to take them out of the box, um, but I don't honestly plan on ever reselling these things and I want to display them. So I'll give you a good look at this one. Look at that, man. That is so cool. So I want to find a cool way to display these. Along with, you know, some autographs, different memorabilia, that type thing. And I'm going to display three of them together. So I bought the Emmett Smith McFarlane from Snods. I got the Tony D in today. I haven't gotten a one from Snods yet. It should be here soon. And I already had the Zeke. So, and the Zeke is definitely my least favorite. Um, but that said, man, how cool is that going to be? I'll have Emmett, Zeke, and Dorsett. And there are, I believe they all have on white jerseys. Going to be super cool. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to do some kind of shelving system or something to display these guys. Zeke's got on the more modern uniform. But they're close. But these are the uniforms that I love. Helmet and everything. Alright, so we'll keep TD up here. Since we're talking about TD. Let's look at some autographs. Alright, first up. This was the first uh, card autograph that I received for uh, for Dorset. This is 82 tops in action. I received this card raw with a authentication uh, sheet from uh, I think it was PSA, but uh, Antonio Colazzo sent me this card. Um, man, it's been over a year now, and. Uh, not too long back, you know, SGC doesn't authenticate autographs anymore, but not too long back, Dustin Abraham did a submission to SGC where he allowed people, hey, if you've got some autographs you want authenticated, send them my way and, you know, we'll send them on. So this was one that I sent. So one of my most cherished cards. And what I, what I love about these, you know, is the ones that have a story. Um, you know, that Antonio sent me that card. Dustin Abraham, you know, made it possible to get it authenticated. And, uh, yeah, Tony Dorsett signed it. So, I think it's pretty cool. All right, second up. We'll show the one that I just received last week. So, this is out of... Uh, 2011 triple threads. This is my only sticker auto numbered out of 75 with a piece of game used jersey. I figured I, I, I got this super cheap and uh, I couldn't let it go for the price. And cool to get another game used piece. 
people probably starting to realize maybe Scott really does like Tony Dorsett more than Emmett Smith. This one was kind of a holy grail Dorsett for me, one I'd been watching for a long time. Um, I got this, I don't know, five or six months ago. This is uh, 2017 Flawless. Um, to me, the premium of premium when it comes to on-card, clean, beautiful autos. There you go. And that's numbered 7 out of 10. Just super clean, on-card. Just a beautiful piece. And, um, and believe it or not, it's player-worn material. Amazing the triple threads get you the game used and with a product like flawless you get the player worn But anyhow one of my favorite definitely one of my favorite cards in my collection And then on to what was in the mail today um, Saw some people getting returns of him online Asked Dustin Abraham, hey man, what's the address? How do I do this? He explained how to do it. Um, I also want to give a shout out to Ground Chuck. Uh, Dustin sent me in the direction of Ground Chuck to watch a video of his, and I'll see if I can't find it, and I'll post it in a link of how you know how he does TTMs, uh, how he sends them off, how he self-addresses the envelope, all of that stuff. I did it exactly like he explained. And I mean, I got these things packed fast. So here it is. This is a 2009 Topps um, uh, National Chickle card. I'm not sure, really. Um, I really, I just thought this would be a cool card to have autographed. <clears throat> I think I was thinking he was going to do it in blue ink, but he used black. It's not the most amazing, but overall I'm pretty happy with it. There you see the Tony Dorsett auto. He did write Hall of Fame on there. He did not write the year. You see he puts the 33 in that little loop. All of his returns I've been seeing, that's what the Hall of Fame where he writes Hall of Fame looks like. Um, definitely a slab candidate for me. Um, probably until then, I will absolutely get this, get a one touch for this. But man, for my first, you know, TTM experience, um, really just, let's see how I can make this work. Whoopsie. Let's do this. I just, for me, this was an awesome return. Um, and then the Daryl Johnson's in the same day. So I know this is a long video. I know I'm showing some stuff I've showed before, but that's where I'm at with my door sets. That's my newest addition, thanks to TTM. And then, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna get up in this TTM game. Um, again, shout out to Ground Chuck, shout out to Dustin Abraham, all the other TTMers out there. Um, really, really cool. and. Um, Really neat way to product, uh, collect cards and autographs. Appreciate y'all watching. Keep it real. I'm out.